Afternoon guys, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I wanted to show you guys a product today that I have been working in research and development with GunAdapters.com, Short Lane Arms, to develop. We have developed together several items that we call Pathfinder logoed items so far. A couple of 8 inch rifle adapters for 22 caliber, 9 millimeter, uh, 44 mag, things like that, 45 long Colt. And we have also made a few short adapters that are Pathfinder logoed series. That comes in a three pack. One of them allows your 12 gauge to go from 12 gauge to 20 gauge, 12 gauge to 45 uh, long Colt or 410 shotgun, and to 22 long rifle. Those are a three inch non-rifle adapter. Just a kit to make your gun more versatile. One of the things that I have been working on for the last several months with short lane arms is a way to come up with an adapter to use for black powder and I did videos in the 21st century long hunter series on how to take the back end of a shotgun shell the high brass and just cut the plastic off repress the primer and load your 12 gauge as a muzzle loader and that works fine but every time you pull that piece of brass out of there you've got to push that primer out with some type of tool seat another primer in with some type of tool so I wanted to come up with an adapter for the 12 gauge that would basically be just be a breech plug and make it a 209 shotgun primer muzzle loader. So we worked on it for quite a while. I should say he worked on it for quite a while to get exactly what I had envisioned or what I had in mind. And I'm going to show you what we came up with and see how you think it works. Um, what I want you to think about with this is, because some people are going to say, I already know, why would I want to shoot black powder out of my 12 gauge? Or why would I want to have to muzzle load my 12 gauge when I can just carry 12 gauge rounds? Here's the reason. Go to any store right now, Walmart, Kmart, Dick's Sporting Goods, Gander Mountain, Bass Pro Shops, I don't care where you go. Look at the ammo shells. Zero. There's not much ammo to be had. There are some 12 gauge rounds out there, but most of them are like 8 shot. 22 rounds, things like that, pretty much gone. Anything that will shoot out of a semi-automatic is pretty much gone at this point, um, including 22 long rifle. Black powder is still available. Two and nine shotgun primer still available. Black powder equivalents like uh, Pyr like Pyrodex RS. And I'll show you what that looks like. This is a jar of Pyrodex RS black powder equivalent. Eleven dollars at Walmart on clearance. Eleven dollars for a pound. I don't know exactly how many shots are in that pound. I hesitate to do the math, but I guarantee you there is probably 50, 60 shots or more of black powder in this jug. It doesn't take a whole lot of things to carry around with you to be able to shoot black powder out of your 12 gauge shotgun. It will shoot, that's the advantage of a 12 gauge shotgun, it'll shoot any powder. I can shoot pretty much any modern powder out of it, I have to. I can shoot black powder equivalent powders out of it, I can shoot true go -X type black powders out of it as well. So that gives this gun a lot of versatility and I've talked about that in a lot of videos. So let's cut to the chase and let's talk about this adapter. What we've got is looks like about twice the size of a high brass adapter that's machined it's got an o-ring seal on it and has a 209 shotgun primer on the back so all you do is drop that into your 12 gauge pull out your 209 shotgun primer I'll set this pyrodex out of the way for a minute reach into my haversack here I've got a small thing of primers in here And you can carry two and nine shotgun primers just in a small brass tin like I've got them here. Take one out, slip it into the adapter, it just drops right in. And I, I mean it drops in. That was the key to this whole thing. I did not want something that was going to have to be pressed in and pressed out. Because if that's the case, I might as well just reload brass. With this, it's going to come right in and it's going to come right out. So I can pop it in. Once I shoot it, it's going to pop right out. Lock the breech, and now I essentially have a 209 shotgun primer muzzle loader. Anything I load down this barrel that will come out the other end is going to work. Doesn't matter if it's rocks, glass shot, BB sinkers, doesn't matter what it is, it's coming out the other end. Here's the key to remember choke, okay? This is a modified choke. Modified choke. I say again, modified choke. I do not want to use a full choke shotgun unless I'm only going to shoot shot. That's okay. If I'm going to try to shoot any kind of round ball ammunition out of this thing, I do not want to use a full choke. I want a modified choke. 
I want a modified choke. I say again, I want a modified choke. And I get questions about that so much that I feel like I have to repeat myself over and over for people to get it. So hopefully that time we all got it. Modified choke. This is the partner model, three inch chamber. We're ready to go, all we can do is put black powder in here and load it up just like a muzzle loader. Now, here's the key. Obviously we're gonna have to have a ramrod for this. Now, what are we gonna use for that? Well, we can go cut a hardwood sapling if we want to, or we could use shooting sticks if we were carrying some shooting sticks. If I were gonna hunt deer with this or something at longer range, Maybe I'm carrying a shoot, set of shooting sticks, which I actually have with me, and I just make mine out of dowel rods. So I'll let you take a look at those. Real simple, real simple design, guys. It's a little bit more stuff to carry. It's a little long, but if you're just stalking through the woods hunting deer, no big deal. You can cut a sapling to load this gun with. Not a big deal. I've got two dowel rods on here. One of them is a little bit bigger than the other one. They're mismatched, and I really don't care about that. It was just two cheap dowel rods that I got and a big, large rubber O-ring. That makes a fork so when I put this thing on the ground I can lay the gun barrel on it and give me a good steady hold. But I can use this as my ramrod at the same time if I'm using this gun for deer hunting. So we'll just use one of these for a ramrod now remembering that we could just go cut a sapling that is smaller than the barrel diameter we could use that. Okay guys so remember we already have our 209 shotgun primer loaded in here. We're ready to rock and roll. The hammer's flat and flush against this housing. You're not going to bump this hammer and set that thing off. Even still, you don't want to put your face right over the top of the muzzle. So, I've got my ramrods here. This is all common man, so easy stuff, guys. I've taken a brass, a piece of three-quarter inch brass pipe, and I've smashed one end of it, just like I would use if I were making a flint napping tool. Okay? I've smashed the end of that thing, drilled a hole in it, put a piece of leather thong through it, and it holds about 100 grains of powder. You can use anything for a powder measure, any kind of a small opening device, but this one happens to be probably a tradition that came off the internet for 20 bucks or less. That has a spout on it. problem with Pyrodex is it's a little bit it's a little bit uh, chunkier than true black powder especially like triple F's and stuff like that and sometimes you'll get a clog in there where you'll get a big chunk of powder that doesn't want to come out very well that's not hard to alleviate okay so first thing I'm gonna do is load my powder and I'm just going to dump it straight down the barrel, just like that. Now I've got to have some type of wad. And what am I going to use for wad? Well, I can use anything for wadding. Basically, that's a malleable material. What I use a lot of times is just wax paper. And I use wax paper to wrap cured meat in and things like that, like salt cured bacon and stuff like that. I use it for covering my trap pans and things like that. So I've usually got wax paper around. It wads up very small. It's easy to tear into pieces. And I just tear a chunk of it off wad it into a ball, shove it down the barrel. The wax part of it doesn't catch fire near as bad either sometimes as regular paper does. Then I'm just going to take half of my shooting stick and ram it down the barrel to the bottom. Just like that. Then comes the shot. So I'll just put this in my pocket for a second. Reach in here. Again, getting my measure because I'm going to use the same measure for volume of shot that I use for volume of powder. Makes it very convenient that way. Keeping my face away from the barrel. And I've got a small piece of jackware here. It's just a leather piece of jackware that's filled with eight shot, or I'm sorry, this is six shot. And I'm going to fill up this tube about three quarters of the way. Put my thumb over it while I'm messing around so it doesn't fall out in case I drop something. Pour it down the barrel. Then I'm going to put another piece of wax paper down the barrel. And like I said, it doesn't have to be wax paper. It could be any malleable material, including leaves or whatever the case may be that you had in an emergency. I'm just using wax paper because it's convenient and I've got plenty of it. Basically what I've done now is I've created a shotgun shell inside this gun. Okay. Now it's ready to fire. This gun is hot. When I pull the hammer back and pull the trigger, this gun's going to fire. So let's go out here 
and get us one of old Dave's monster cans and set it out here on the trail as if it were a rabbit that we were hunting on the trail. We'll get about 25 yards away and fire this dude up and see how she works. Okay guys, there's our can. That's about as close as I can get. Zooming in on it. Now I'm going to zoom out just so you know that we are way back. About 25 yards probably. Maybe 30. Zoom back in. Let's shoot that dude. All right, we'll go fetch that can up in a second, but I want to show you. Now, let me tell you something real quick. If you got a hang fire in here, for some reason, very seldom is black powder or is Pyrodex not going to go off with a 209 primer. But if it were to happen, always open the breech away from you and not towards you. In case the gun were to go off, it's not going to fire that breech plug right in your chest or in your face. So once it's been fired, you can open it towards you. Because sometimes it will eject that thing, sometimes it won't. It's got an O-ring seal on it to kind of hold it in there. But it's so easy to get that primer out of there. I just stuck my fingernail underneath that thing and popped that expended primer right out of there. And now it's ready to load again and fire again. Okay, guys. There's our would-be rabbit. It would be in the stew pot. Pretty good job that thing does. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this quick short review on the 209 shotgun primer adapter for the 12 gauge shotgun by gunadapters.com. We've been developing this for several months and I think that anything that makes your shotgun more versatile is important. I think the 12 gauge shotgun is the most versatile firearm on the planet bar none. You can get many, many sub caliber adapters from him that will shoot out of that gun and now you can get a 209 shotgun primer adapter to make it a muzzle loader. The advantage to this is over cutting off the shells like I've showed in videos past is number one, the 209 shotgun primer comes out of there just with a pick and you can put another one in. You don't have to seat it, punch it out, punch it in, anything like that. You can just pop it in, pop it out with your fingernail. You can take this adapter out then and clean it. Then you have the barrel of your gun empty and open so that you can clean it very easily and flush it out much more easily than a normal black powder firearm would be. This gives you the ability now to Use something else with your 12 gauge to make it even more versatile. I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me for this video. I appreciate everything you do for me, for my school, for my family, for my friends, affiliates, and sponsors. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.